This video is sponsored by Atlas VPN. It's really crazy how amazingly easy it is to create fake websites or phishing websites to then get your username and your password. Come over here, let me show you how it looks like. And can you tell the difference between the two of them? You see, there are two browsers over here and one of this is a fake login page. And look at this over here. We have two browsers. On the left side, it's a LinkedIn login page. On the right side, it's also a LinkedIn login page. So how do you know for sure which one is real and which one is fake? It's really difficult to tell from the naked eye. And in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how hackers create such fake phishing websites in seconds. And this is really crazy. Hi, Mr. Hackalog. Before we get started, I want to ask you a question if there's any way for us to know if our email has already been compromised. Yes, and let me show you how. With Atlas VPN, we can see exactly which of our email addresses has been affected by different type of website or application who has been hacked into. What exactly is a VPN? A VPN helps secure our communication from our phones, our laptops, our desktop, even our Raspberry Pis to the internet. It blocks all the malicious links, ads and trackers, and notifies you when someone is trying to steal your data. So not only can you have a blazing fast access to the internet for gaming and stream your favorite show, you can secure your access. Wow, this sounds super cool. Guess what? We have an even cooler deal with Alice VPN. Right now, Alice VPN is running a huge discount. It means that you can get a three-year subscription for only $1.99 a month. The even better part? You get a 30-day money-back guarantee. And time is running out, so get your due by clicking on the link in the description below. Yes, you heard right. Atlas VPN is now available for only $1.99 a month with 30-day money-back guarantee. And remember kids, hacking is illegal. If you get caught hacking, do not tell them that you know who is Hacker Loy. And most important thing of all is to smash the like button as well as turn on notification for subscription so that you get notified whenever you get hacked. Sorry, I mean whenever someone else get hacked. Sorry, I mean whenever there's a new hacking tutorial that's being released. And right in front of us is our hackers operating system we're running on Kala Linux. And you can see a bunch of payloads, instruction, materials that we have created for you in this YouTube channel. And this is a lot of crazy stuff that we've been doing over the past few years. So what we will do now is go ahead and open up terminal. All right. And what you can do is CD into black eye. All right. So once you're in here, you can enter LS to see all the different information that you have, as well as the SH file that's been created. And of course, we have ng rock right here. So what we want to do now is the ability to go ahead and get started. So how can you get an access into black eye is by going into the following. So all you got to do is go to github.com and you can see the following All right, we have black eye and this is created by Anon Uday. All right. So Hopefully I got the name right. And this is really awesome software that has been created. And you can see right here, all right, we have the ability to launch this as part of creating our phishing site. So the first thing you got to do is to go ahead and do a git clone. So over here, go ahead and hit enter on this. And of course, in my case, I already have the destination path. Black Eye already exists. So I have already downloaded the file. Go ahead and CD into Black Eye. All right, and once you're here, all you're going to do is do an ls, all right, an ls-l, and you can see right here, we have blackeye.sh, and of course, it allow execution. So there is a x available on there so we can execute on it. So you can enter dot slash blackeye.sh, hit enter on this, and right here, we have so many options, 37 options and 38 options to be a custom creation of a phishing site. So here we have so many selections available and we want to show you, all right, say, for example, on LinkedIn, number nine. All right, all you got to do is choose option nine, hit enter on that. It's starting the PHP server for us, starting ngrock server. All right, so if you went to the LS of the directory earlier, you see that ngrock has been downloaded and once it has started all of these services. We can begin the process of attacking the system. So you can see the following. It states, send this link to the victim, 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 open the link. All right, so what we can do now is to jump back into your browser and you can go ahead and enter the following, which is 127.0.0.1 followed by port 4040. All right, and you can go ahead and save status or inspect HTTP, hit enter on that, and this will bring us over into the NG Rock service. And what this does for us is that we no longer have to do all the complex port forwarding in order to open up our services online, and we can simply use NG Rock to help us serve this traffic across the internet. And you can see right here, we have the following. So we have a URL. Okay, and of course you have to inspect. So if there are requests coming in, we'll be able to see right here. So all we got to do now is to target and to send this link over to any devices. So in my case, now I am on Firefox and I'll jump over to say a separate browser, like a Google Chrome, for example. I paste this link, I hit enter on that, and that's it. 
it's literally game over and you can see right here we have the join now we have the email address options and if you would go ahead and enter the login field if i want to enter say for example hacker loy at loy and i enter the following password so you have no idea what is my password and once i click sign in you will see a redirection to the actual site so you may think that oh perhaps i went to the site again and now I have to re-log in again because I entered my credentials incorrectly. Now, if I was to jump back over into terminal, you will see right here and the following. And you can see right here, credentials found. All right, this is crazy. You're able to see the account information as well as the password. Just like that, we just hosted a hacking phishing site on the internet. If you attempt to log into LinkedIn using HackerLoy at LoyLiangYang.com for the password 1234567, do you think you'll be able to get in? So pro tip here, as a cybersecurity or an ethical hacker or professional hacker, what people may think is you are using a complex password that's more than 100 characters, but actually what I'm using is just 1234567 is my password. And we have multiple options available for us, and this is crazy. I mean, if I was to go ahead and launch Black Eye again, and now let's say we want to target, for example, Instagram. Okay, so I enter one, I hit enter on that again. So it's this the following starting PHP server, ng rock server, give it a couple of seconds more, and then we'll be able to serve that to anyone on the internet. So if you see the following right here, once it's available, I can jump back over into our ng rock service. I do a refresh on this, and of course I can see a new URL. The question is, does it work on mobile devices? So right in front of us, we have the URL from NG Rock. So I can do a right click and copy on this and I can move over into literally any mobile devices. I click onto the URL, I paste it right here and I go right in and you can see the following results, right? And you can see the status and the service information on the right side is happening, the total, the open and so on and so forth. And now the user has been given a link and the link could be sent via SMS, social media messages, or even an email. So now you've gotten over into the site. And once again, if you do not validate on the URL right here, then you are going to be game over. So what happens is if I do not validate the URL, I go ahead and enter, say, my email address, which is hackerloy at loyliangyang.com and followed by the password that I've set. And you already know my password. So go ahead and enter your password in the comment section so that I can help you validate whether you're using the right password. So once we go ahead and click login, and you notice that once again, we are getting redirected to the actual site. So you may think that it is a wrong credentials and you're required to re-log in again. However, on the back end, if I jump back over to Kyle Linux, I go back to Black Eye, once again, it's game over. We can see over here the account as well as the password information and it's been saved into the save.usernames.txt. Now, the most critical question of all is when you create your phishing site, so now you got to the link, would you dare to send it over to Hacker Loy?